Hi everyone, in today's session we're gonna talk about how we can expand our Azure Virtual Machine Disk Storage without downtime. Just before we dig into the solution itself, I would like to share with you a quick brief about the kind of situations that we had for one of our customers that we were into rush in expanding the disk storage because it was almost 98% utilized and the, the challenge is like we cannot uh, power off or deallocate the system itself which is production SQL services so at this moment we had to find a way how we can expand our disk storage without affecting the actual production workload back days for this to happen we had to deallocate the actual virtual machine and then expanding the disk storage and then jumping into the actual VM after powering it on and expand the volume but with the new release of Azure provider which is called live resize it gives us the capability to expand our disk storage without deallocating the actual virtual machine and without any downtime so let's jump into the demo and see how we can expand our Azure virtual disk storage without a downtime in today's session, we're going to talk about how we can expand our virtual machine disk storage without a downtime. Right now, you can expand your data disk without deallocating your virtual machine. This feature will allow you to dynamically increase your disk size without a downtime for your application, which is will allow you to start with a smaller disk that will help you to keep your costs down, and then you can increase the size of the disk without downtime for your application. After expanding the disk, you would need to expand the actual volume in the operating system and take the advantage of the larger disk. So this feature has the following limitation. It's only supported for the data disk. If the disk is more than four terabytes, you cannot expand it without deallocating the system. The new size should be greater than the existing size. It's not supported for the ultra disk and the premium SSD version two. It's not supported for the shared disk. For uh, doing the, the actual expansion, you have to use one of the following options, which is Azure CLI, uh, Azure PowerShell module, Azure portal, and the ARM template with the version of 2021, 1st of April or newer. So now let's proceed forward with the actual demo of registering our live resize Azure provider feature. To do this, we have to first of all uh, validate if Azure Provider feature is registered or not using the following command. So we're gonna use a get az provider feature with the feature name and the provider namespace, which is Microsoft.compute, to validate if feature itself is registered or not. If it's not registered, we have to use the second command, which is well register the, the feature. So the command itself, it's called register dash az provider feature and then feature name, which is live resize and the provider namespace, which is Microsoft.compute. By running this command, we will register the live uh, resize that will allow us to expand the Azure virtual machine disk storage without downtime. So let's proceed forward with uh, registering the Azure provider against one of our subscription. We're gonna just get the status of the registration. As you can see, it's not registered yet. And then we're gonna run the register dash az provider to register the live resize Microsoft compute. As you can see, the registration state right now is registering. We're just getting the state again, just to validate if it's been registered or not yet. Now it's already registered, which is will allow us to do a kind of live resize without interrupting the workload or downtime. So now we are going to resize the managed disk on the portal itself. Let's jump into the portal. Getting back to our virtual machine. We will jump to the disks. As you can see, we do have two data disks under our virtual machine. Let's jump into the disk plate. 
As you can see under disk blade, we have two data disk. Each one is 32 gig. So now let's jump into the size and performance to change our disk size. We're gonna change our disk size from 32 to 64. As you can see, it's a start updating the disk size without giving us any error or without shutting down the actual virtual machine. The disk have been successfully updated. So now we are jumping back to the activity log just to validate that the virtual machine is not being deallocated while we are updating the actual disk. Let's jump back to the disk blade just to validate the disk size have been updated. As you can see now, it's a 64 gig. So our next action will be resizing our managed disk using PowerShell. We will jump back to the portal and then opening the blade of PowerShell interface. We will start by selecting our subscription just to validate that we are on the right subscription. And then we gonna set our resource group and virtual machine on formation. So now let's select the subscription that we will do the change against. I'm just hiding the subscription information. And then we're gonna set our resource group name and virtual machine name, disk name, just to run the update against them. So as you can see, my resource group name is HQ app. The VM name is db one and the disk name is db disk one I have set the variables. Let's validate the size. So the size right now is 32 gig. Let's jump back to the PowerShell interface and apply the change. To apply the change, we have first of all to obtain the reference ID of the virtual machine. We're gonna obtain the reference using this command. As you can see under the virtual machine variable, all the information are obtained. Now it's time to obtain the disk information and then apply the change against the disk size to PowerShell interface and obtain the disk information. So under the disk variable, all the information will be listed. As you can see, the disk size and the disk size in bytes. Let's validate them in the portal as well. So back to the PowerShell and let's apply the change against the disk size. So now I have set the disk size to 128. So it's still the disk size in bytes is 34 but the disk size in gigabyte is 128. Now let's apply the final PowerShell command, which is update dash AZ disk. That will apply the change against the actual disk. Once we applying this command, the disk size and bytes will be updated. So as you can see, the disk size in gigabyte is 128 and disk size in pi is 137. So back to the portal, as you can see, the disk size on the portal as well have been updated, which is 128. So the final step now is to jump to the actual VM using RDB as its windows and then expanding the volume itself. So I'm just logging into the system. So once we log to the system, we just have to jump into the desk management utility or the computer management utility.
So once we open computer management utility, we have to jump to the disk management. And as you can see, disk to still have one volume, which is 32 gig and have unallocated storage, which is 31 gig. So right now we are expanding existing volume using the unallocated storage to benefit from the larger disk expansion. As you can see right now, the size became 64 gig. So now let's jump back to the portal and see if we will be able to change the OS disk as well or this is will not be supported by the new feature. Actually as we discussed in the beginning this feature is only supported for the data disk. So as you can see we got an error while we were trying to change the disk using Azure portal. Let's try to do the same using the PowerShell command. And let's see if we will be able to update the disk size or not. So now I'm just updating the disk name variable and then applying the same change against the disk. The first issue that I got is the specified size is smaller than the target. So we have to change the size for bigger. But even after we change the size for bigger, it's still getting the error because as we mentioned, this feature is only supported for the data disk and is not supported for the OS disk. So back to our presentation, as you can see, if you would like to change a disk that it doesn't meet the requirement, we have to deallocate the system and then starting it back. You can do this by the PowerShell or you can do it by the portal. So right now I'm just deallocating the system using the portal itself. After that, we will do the change against the disk just to validate that this is will function without a problem. So jumping into the OS disk and then size and performance, changing the disk size to P15, which is 256 gig. It's been successfully updated. That's confirming our situation that the new feature is only supported for the data disk, is not supported for the operating system. And if you need to expand the operating system, you have to fully deallocate the system and then uh, powering it back. So we're just starting back the system and everything's fine. I hope this was informative for you and thanks for your time.